Hi folks, Richard Ash, Folkcraft Instruments. Today's dulcimer demonstration is a Folkcraft Custom Baritone Dulcimer, serial number 20141622. This instrument has our big body, the eight inches wide, at the lower bow, two and a quarter inch sides. This instrument has a 29 inch scale, which is perfect for a baritone dulcimer. I wouldn't want it any longer, I wouldn't want it any shorter. It has the extra frets, one and a half, eight and a half, dots at three, seven, 10, 14. The Honduras mahogany body includes the back, sides, top, and the fretboard. The fretboard has a veneer of Wenge, W-E-N-G-E. -E. It's an African hardwood, exotic wood from West Africa. Very, very dense, very durable, and very long lasting. You're not likely to put too many grooves in a Wenge fingerboard veneer, which is why we use it. Uh, Sun, moon, and stars sound holes. This is set up as a four string dulcimer with our traditional head two tuners on each side. We use the chrome tuners. They look really sharp against the African mahogany or the Honduras mahogany, excuse me. The tuning is AEA, which is pretty common for baritone dulcimers. This particular instrument does have two melody strings. Right now I've got one of them tucked away to the side. I am a player that really likes double melody strings. But in the case of a baritone, I almost prefer a single melody string because it's such a rich sound anyway. And that jangly twangly that you get with that double melody string, which I usually like, may not be my first choice for a baritone. So there's a fourth melody, a fourth string on here, the second melody string. It's just loosened and tucked off to the side of the fretboard right now. If I was going to play this instrument for my personal instrument, I would probably, instead of tucking one away, I would probably take it off entirely and I would take off the other melody string as well and replace it with something a little bit heavier. So instead of having really heavy, medium, then two light strings, I'd have little, really heavy, medium, and one relatively heavy melody string rather than two lighter melody strings. I think that would give you a little bit better sound. But we, when you order this instrument, we can talk about how you play and what you, how you want it set up. We can make it, make it happen however it works for you. Anyway, AEA, two tunes, Shenandoah and Wildwood Flower. Shenandoah is more of a picker, which is going to really shine on a three-string baritone. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> 